So there are different ways you can put chords in. So the very first one is just holding down a chord. So I'm going to use a C chord. And a C chord is C, E, G. And then I'm going to put a C in the bass because it's the root note of the C chord. If you want to make it more interesting, you can make that chord rhythmic. So you might have... Um, I might put a rest in there first. So I've put a rest in the bass line. I'm going to put a rest in the treble line. I'm going to put the chord in. I'm going to do that again. Just using the same C, E, G notes. I'm going to follow the same pattern because it's Quaver rest, quaver, quaver, quaver rest, quaver, quaver, quaver rest. And then I'm going to put another quaver chord here. And I'm going to put that in the bass line as well. Let me see. So we've got a chord here, just a four, a four beat chord. Then we've got a rhythmic chord with a rhythmic bass line. You could have an Alberti bass. So what we'll do is I'll put that in crotchets. So we play the first note of the chord in the bass line. And then we play the fifth and then the third and then the fifth. And then I'll hold the chord down for four beats up here. And then in our next bar, I'm going to add broken chords. So I'm going to use quavers for that. I'm going to split the chord up. I'm going to do a single note bass line. In fact, I'll do a nice rhythm. I'm going to copy that rhythm again. So for each of the chords, I have copied them four times. So we've got four bars of each sequence, and this is what it sounds like. Now you wouldn't obviously have four bars of the same chord, you would change for each bar have a different chord, but you'd keep the rhythms the same. So if you had a broken chord and a bass rhythm like this, for the first bar, you'd change your chord, so let's, well, let's do an A minor chord. So we've got a C chord there and an A minor chord here. And then we'll have another C chord and then another A minor chord. That sound like this.
So we've got the rhythms exactly the same, but the pitch changes, and that's what you should do for your chords. Now I want you to choose which type of chords you're going to include in your composition.